I'm so sorry. 
I, I didn't realize the truck was turning until last minute. Hey, Jeremy, are you all right? Never better. Are you sure? Way to go, Mom. Haven't you moved in yet, and you've almost killed someone. And on that note, this is my lovely daughter, Charlotte, and I'm Julia Larson, and I swear I am a good driver, but only in Chicago traffic. Well, hi, I'm Father Donald, and, and this is Dr. Jeremy Miller. So, doctor, if you got hurt, you could have patched yourself up? Please, just call me Jeremy. Uh, Mom? Oh, uh, yeah, we, we should catch up to the truck. It was nice to meet you. Yes, well, welcome to Crestwick. Uh, say, if you want to join us for service tomorrow morning, I can introduce you to some of your new neighbors. That would be lovely. Thank you, Father. We just might. Well, there's something I haven't seen in a while. A car? A lingering eye. We've missed you on Sundays. It's been three years, Father. Maybe you get used to it. Look, Jeremy, I know that sometimes your line of work constitutes playing God. That doesn't mean you do it as well as he does. He's done a real swell job so far. Remember? I'm here every Sunday. He's cute. You should go for him. Don't be silly. We just met. I'm not ready. Dad left 10 years ago. I meant we haven't even unpacked yet. This is the best we could do. I can see your room. First around the right. Hey guys, you can bring that stuff in here. This. It was in the closet. Too bad it's not my style. What else is in there? There's this old painting. Oh, this is our house. Does that look centered? Yeah, I guess.
It's okay. It's okay. It's just a dream. I have to hurry. Church starts in 40 minutes. Church? Come on, we just moved in. I don't have to go every Sunday. And today's important. I can meet some people. Just to be sure, there's no way I can get out of going? Father Donald was so kind to invite us. We're going. Mm -hmm. Right. That's why we're going. So hurry up. <sighs> Look at you, looking all sharp. <laughs> Hello, I was hoping you'd make it. Of course, it's good to see you again. Hi, Father. Hello. I've already started repenting for my left foot. <laughs> Speaking of which, will Dr. Miller be here today? No, I'm afraid Jeremy hasn't been to a service in a while. I, I think he feels a little weird coming to a church where he's seen half of our congregation in their underclothes, or less. <laughs> I did mention him yesterday. Uh, um, uh, his office is right around the corner, though. Thank you, Father. Uh, listen, I'm sorry, I have to get ready, but make sure you stick around afterwards because there's a couple people I want to introduce you to. Of course. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Father, that was such oh. a wonderful sermon. Thank you very much. You've been such a great comfort to us since we moved oh. to town. You too. Julia, Charlotte. I'm sorry, I wanted to introduce you to Priscilla Birchman. Hello. Hi. Um, Priscilla and her husband just moved here as well three months ago. And uh, they're looking for a sitter for their son, Drew. So I immediately thought of you, Charlotte. Would you be available on Wednesday? This Wednesday? Yeah, I'm totally free. Well, praise the Lord. You know, we're having some work done on the house, including converting one of our bedrooms to a worship room, like I'd mentioned before. Uh, do you mind if I bring Drew over to you? Not at all. <laughs> Easier for me. Um, our address is 666 East no, Mulberry? No, 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 no. It's, it's 966 East Mulberry Road, right on the edge of town. Oh, great. Um, I'm sorry. Would you excuse me just one second? I, I'll be right back. Okay, then. We'll see you at 6 o'clock on Wednesday. Sounds great. Look at that. Here one day, already having a babysitting gig. I know. I wonder what they pay here. I'm very lucky she'll pay you in chickens. Here we are. <laughs> a little welcome to the congregation gift. Aw. St. Christopher. Who do we need protection from? Uh, well, I, I usually give out Virgin Marys, but I just ran out, I'm afraid. Oh, it's beautiful. Father, thank you. Charlotte? Charlotte?
Charlotte? Charlotte, what are you doing down Did you call? <gasps> I thought I heard something. <laughs> it's a up on me. Sorry. Kids are even now. You ready to start the movie? Almost done? Yeah. Let me just say bye, Jesse. Tell her hi. What's that around your neck? Oh, nothing. Ew, it's so ugly. I know, right? Hey, I gotta go. Movie night with mom. I'll catch you online tomorrow, okay? Okay, tell her hi. Ooh. Ooh. What's that? What? That's weird. I didn't notice it before. Looks like a little allergy. Okay. What's going on? That's what you get for going <laughs> an old crappy house. Well, if you had gotten a full scholarship, I could have got a nicer house. Yeah, yeah. You're still my favorite mom. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, doctor. And stay off that golf course. I'll play some chess. Uh, Muriel, bring Mr. Coleman back for a follow-up exam in two weeks. Off to your granddaughter's recital. And I'm barely going to make it. You have a new patient in room one. Last appointment of the day. Oh, and Jeremy, her mom is real cute. I'm sure she is. The Larsons. I didn't expect to see you so soon. Neither did we. Well, what seems to be the problem? Interesting. Am I gonna make it? Well, it's a good thing you came in when you did. Is it serious? Let's just say that if you'd waited any longer, we probably would have to remove the skin. What, from a rash? Just let me see where we keep the antibody creams. I'll be right back. So? What? I see how you look at him. We are here because of your rash. You insisted on Dr. Meller. We've already met him. It would be silly to go to somebody else. Uh-huh. Got it. Take this. It was my joke, right? Bad joke. I enjoyed it. Uh, is this the cream? This is it. Okay. All right. You're all set. Just um, let me know if it gets any worse. Okay. I guess I to get going then. Right. I. Uh, it was really good seeing you. Likewise. How the groceries work out? <laughs> well, uh, yours? Oh, great. Let's just say I don't want to make a habit of cooking. Right. So, uh, what's on the menu tonight? Tonight? Uh, Monday? Monday's pizza night. Oh, well, I have been known to eat a large all by myself in one city. I mean, not very often because that is totally unhealthy, but... Oh, uh, that must be quite a sight. You and Charlotte should try Monocles. It's the best pizza in town. Well, you should probably go with someone who knows what to order, then. I'd love to take you, but um, I don't usually fraternize with patients. No, 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 that's just Charlotte. See, I, I go to Dr. So-and-so on the other side of town. I mean, not now, because I'm totally fine, but... But seriously, um, you can't go wrong with anything on the menu. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to risk it myself. Okay. Bye.
What's going on? Nothing. Mom! Yeah? There's literally nothing to eat. I just got groceries. I'm sure there's something. I want pizza. Pizza? Pizza. Why are you so excited? No, 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 nothing. I'll give us a pizza. I heard about a great place. Okay. Welcome, dining in. Uh, carry out, actually. What can I get for you? Uh, one large pepperoni pizza. Will that be all? Yes. If you'd like to take a seat, that'll be right up. Thank you. This has happened for a Monday night. I told you. Best in town. It's the only in town. Much different than Chicago. Oh, oh I, do you mind if I sit here while I wait? Sure. <laughs> uh, so, what are your thoughts on Crestwick? Um, I think it was a change I needed. It's so overwhelming. I want to try to have at least one day off. I'm sure you can. That's what's great about college. It's gonna be so awesome being out on our own. I'm so ready for this. What the... What is going on in this house? At least the internet. Oh, this isn't creepy at all. Okay. WTF, girl, I thought you were dead or something. Dramatic. My internet just came back up. Hi, Miss Larson. Who are you talking to? I totally thought I saw your mom. My mom's not even home. She's probably out stalking Dr. Miller. <laughs> but I swear. Anyways, who's Dr. Miller? The really cute town doctor. Do you hear that? Let me call you back. Come on, pick up, Mom. I actually, whoa. <laughs> I actually have one better. Yeah. Let me get a little bit more of that first. Hi, this is Julia. Leave a message. Mom, did you feel that earthquake? I'm seriously freaked out. Call me back when you get this. Garden Trump and Earthquake.
I really better go. Charlotte's gonna kill me for taking so long. The good thing is, is pizza's great even when it's cold. And I love cold pizza. So do I. <laughs> well, hopefully uh, we could try that famous stir fry you've been talking about. I'm not actually sure I remember how to make it. Yeah. Hopefully it comes to you. <laughs> Thanks again for letting me ring your dinner. It's a strange and twisted road. Love is a crazy notion. It's all I really know. Mom, did you feel that earthquake? I'm seriously freaked out. Earthquake? I'm so sorry to get your message till now. What is this about an earthquake? Oh, uh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Come on, let's eat. I'm not hungry anymore. Fine. It'll be downstairs if you want it. Won't help. She's burning up. I have to get the fever down. You have to get her back to the hospital. Shh. It can hear you. The hospital is not what she needs. Okay, you are clueless as to what she needs. This is absurd. Let me do my job and everything will be- I have seen it. There is something in this house and it has taken over my baby's body. Olivia, I'm telling you, get her back to the hospital. You are too proud with your precious medical degree, your fancy medicines, and your blown up friggin' ego to admit that this is beyond you. Get out of my house! Father Donald. I'm here for Maddie. Father, you don't actually believe this crap, do you? Listen to me. Maddie is showing the classic signs of possession. Demonic possession. Listen, this has happened before. It's the house, Jeremy. It has to be. You're just as crazy as Olivia. No wonder she's this way. You keep feeding her this nonsense. I'm not going to let Maddie pay for it.
Charlotte, breakfast. Charlotte. Charlotte, breakfast is ready. Hurry up before it gets cold. To school, the teachers have a, a meeting today. Oh. Did you hear me say breakfast was downstairs? Charlotte! <gasps> Jesus, will you stop doing that? What? What is this? What has gotten into you? I didn't do it. Clean this up. I'm gonna be late. Don't forget you're babysitting Drew tonight. I'm not gonna believe this, but I just bought this bag of fresh vegetables to stir fry and I realized that I just uh, bought too many of them. Oh no, that's no good. It's not good to waste. Would you like to come over and um, help me cook and get rid of them? I might. So does that mean you'll, uh, you'll join me? What time? Uh, well, I'm just about to start to get ready to cook. Would you like to come over and help? Uh, yeah, I'm free. Actually, uh, I could come over now. Great. Um, I'll, uh, see you when you get here. Okay, see you soon. You've reached Charlotte. Lucky you. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you. Hey, honey, I uh, just want to let you know that I finished school, but I won't be home right away. Spontaneous dinner with Dr. Miller. Uh, yesterday's pizza's in the fridge. I will see you soon. Mommy won't be gone that long, honey. I don't wanna go. <sighs> oh, baby. Mommy hates to leave her big boy here. But I'll be back soon, I promise. Hi. Hi, Charlotte. Drew, say hi. Hi. Come on in. I have to get going because I'm running a little late, but I'll be back in less than two hours. Mommy, see you soon. Have fun with Charlotte. Play hide and seek. This is a really nice place. How long have you been here? Uh, I've been here a couple of years, but it's been a while since I had any guests. Well, then I'm happy that you called me. <laughs> I have to be honest, I have not been on a date in forever. 
What about monocles? <laughs> oh, well, at least this time I was actually invited. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was really good. Well, let's wrap some up for Charlotte. Mm. She would like that. How's the brush? Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, I think. That didn't sound very convincing. She didn't say anything about the rash. She just wasn't quite herself today. No? Is everything all right? It's just strange, you know? I can't quite put my finger on it. It just seemed like distant, sort of like a different person. I don't know, I think I'm just exhausted with the move and the new job and everything. Well, I wouldn't stress about it too much. A move can be pretty tough on a teenager. Yeah. She'll be moving again soon. Where to? College. Starts in a few weeks. College. <laughs> That's definitely it. She probably just misses her old friends and is nervous about making new ones at school. You know how teenagers can be. Well. Oh, let me help you with this. No, no. Why don't you just wait in the living room and I'll be right there. Just so you know, I might have gotten some ice cream for dessert. Oh, I'll take it.
She's adorable. It's, uh, is that my house? Yes, it is. This is Maddie. She was a very special patient. She fell ill and, um, I, I just couldn't save her. I'm so sorry. What happened? I still ask myself that question every day. It must be really hard. And sometimes it's just out of our hands, you know? Delicious. Glad you like it. Charlotte, it's Priscilla. I'm back. to go. Charlotte, where are you? She's no longer here. Good Lord, you scared me. Why is it so dark in here? We were playing hide and seek. Drew, let's go. Mommy's here. Where is he? I need to go. I'm not sure. I think he could be upstairs. They're going to have to find him. I'm not playing hide and seek. Now tell me where he is. <sighs> Charlotte? Drew? Drew? Are you in there? True? It's mommy. Hello. Hi. What are you doing? Nothing. I was babysitting. Glad it's over. Why? Because Priscilla is a bitch. Charlotte! I was your date. It wasn't really a- Don't lie to me! Who do you think you're talking to, like that young lady? What has gotten into you? First you call Priscilla a bitch, then you question me? Whatever it is, I don't like it. Good, because I don't like you either.
Yes. Yes, ma'am. I'm Officer Riley. Can I have a few moments? Sure. What is this about? We're checking the whereabouts of Priscilla Birchman and her son Drew. What happened? We're not sure. No one's seen them since she left the ladies' youth group last night. She was headed here to pick up Drew. Please, come on in. Can I speak with Charlotte? She may be the best help since she babysat Drew. Yeah, absolutely. But Charlotte, this is Officer Riley. He's here because Priscilla and Drew are missing. Tell me about last night. I was told that you babysat Drew. Priscilla dropped him off at about seven. We watched TV, played hide and seek, and then she came back. It was about 9.30. Was there anything odd about her demeanor? No. She stayed for a bit and played hide and seek. What time did she leave? I, I was home by 10 and she was gone by then. Well, if you think of anything else, give me a call. Either of you. Oh, yes. I hope you find them. Me too. Good day, ladies. Riley? What are you doing out here? Ah, I'm trying to figure out what the hell happened to Priscilla Birchmont. Sorry about the hell, Father. Why? Well, well, what about Priscilla? Oh, her and her son Drew are missing. Oh, Lord. Is there anything I can do to help? Oh, I appreciate it. I tell you, though, there's something odd about that girl. Don't worry about it. I'll get to the bottom of it. Dear Lord, we beg you through the intercession for the deliverance of our brothers and sisters who are enslaved by the evil one. All saints of heaven come to our aid. Heavenly Father, protect us. Father. Uh, I'm sorry, I was in the neighborhood and I thought I'd stop by to say hi. Oh, please, come on in. Charlotte, it's nice to see you. Hi, Father. What brings you here? Um, I just wanted to stop by to see how you and your mom were doing. Can I get you some coffee? Black, thanks. Well, how do you like it here? It's my home. If you don't mind, I'd like to go lay back down now. Are you not feeling well? No. Go ahead and get some rest. I put some extra covers on your bed. Nice to see you, Father. Feel better, my child. It's been a little out of sorts. Is there something wrong? No, no, no. Nothing's wrong. Julia, I hope you know you can talk to me about anything. I don't know, I, uh, I just feel uncomfortable knowing that a little girl died here. I wish they would have told me that before I bought this house. Did, did Jeremy tell you? Yeah, we had dinner last night. Look, you'll have to understand, this has been a, a very difficult few years for Jeremy. I mean, to lose your daughter and then your wife in the same year is, is devastating. What do you mean? Well, Maddie and Olivia. Right, Maddie, his daughter. H how did his wife die? No, his ex-wife, actually. Um, she, God rest her soul, um, took her own life. <laughs> she wanted to be with Maddie for eternity. No, doesn't suicide mean? Hell, yes, but she, like most of us, believed that that's where Maddie's soul was dragged. What? 
I know this is difficult to understand, but I don't believe that Maddie died from a worldly illness. I don't understand. See, I believe that Maddie's body was consumed by an evil demon. I know it's crazy, but I, I think she was possessed. Father, this is outrageous. Listen to me, I know it's difficult to understand, but I think you and Charlotte could be in danger. It's happened before and it could again. You need to leave this house. This is insane, Father, no offense, but I, I don't believe in any of this. You know, I was concerned because a little girl died in here, not this. You know, five minutes ago, all I knew was that Jeremy lost a patient and now you're telling me this horrible well, story. Wait a minute, you didn't know that it was his daughter I'm talking about? No. Well, I wouldn't have told you if I didn't think you already knew, but no, you know what? I'm glad I did. You and Charlotte need to leave this house. Father, I uh, appreciate you looking out for us and stopping by. I, I really do. We are fine. Please. Jeremy! Jeremy? Father, to what do I owe this pleasure? Jeremy, look, I need to talk to you. Look, it's about Julia and Charlotte and the house. What about it now? Like I told you before, Jeremy, it's the house. The house holds its evil within. You have to get them out. Whatever you do, don't go feeding this to Julia. You already drove Olivia to commit suicide. Jeremy, she wouldn't listen to me, but she might listen to you. Even if you don't believe me, get them out of that house. Julia knows about, about Maddie and everything else. How? She said you told her about Maddie. I and told so her I... Maddie was just a patient. I know, I just assumed. Don't assume, in fact. Stay out of my life. Just want to be left alone. Jeremy! Everybody has left you alone. And that's why you're still the way you are. Look at yourself, you're shut down. You need to face it. Nafas did an awful thing. But now Father, it's a... Father, listen to me. Nafas doesn't exist. Nafas has never existed. Manny died. She got sick. She got sick. And that's the truth. Jeremy. I saw Maddie. I saw what happened. Nafas is powerful. Hell bent on getting what he came for. Why are we even talking? Because about this? you need to face it. This isn't just about you anymore. Julia and Charlotte are in grave danger. What do you mean, they're in grave danger? You said yourself this, this Nafas only stays until he consumes the soul. No, what I'm saying is Nafas has remained in the house. It feeds off of consuming the souls of innocent young girls. You have to let me try to- I'm done talking about this. In fact, I don't ever want to hear about this again. I don't want to see your face again. Don't make the same mistake twice, Jeremy! <sighs>
away from me. If you would have listened to me, our daughter would still be alive. No, Olivia. If you would have gotten her to the hospital, like I told you, our daughter would still be alive. Whoa. Whoa, think about what you're doing. Put the gun down. Put the gun down. Olivia, do you think, do you think you're the only one who suffered? Trust me. We can work through this together. We can work through this together. Can you even help our baby? Olivia, go! Hi. Thanks so much for coming. Of course. Jeremy, I'm really sorry about Maddie. Father Donald told me. I know. Thank you. Well, let's focus on Charlotte. feeling? I feel great. Well, you don't look great. Your mother says your rash is getting worse. And you have a fever. Julia doesn't know what she's talking about. Your mother says you'll be going off to college soon. I don't want to go to college. It's much more fun here. Do you like butterflies? I'm sorry? What? I love butterflies. Fine. Um, I gave her something to help her sleep. The fever was, was really getting to her. Um, she'll be out for a little while. I've turned to my office to get some antibiotics. I'll be right back. Whatever you do, don't go in there. It might be contagious.
skin markings, the inability to heal, these are all signs. Nefas consumes the soul of its host, Jeremy. Why can't you just believe like Olivia does? Uh, dispatch, this is Officer Riley. I went to Larson's uh, looking for Priscilla's car. Can I get a plate number for that? Got you now. No. Hello. Mind if I have a word with your mom? My mom is not here. Tell me, what's Priscilla's car doing here? Charlotte? Charlotte! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. There are only two ways to get rid of this kind of evil. Either it's dragged back to hell by the force of a spiritual nature, or it's driven away. It's one of these. This crucifix will offer us protection. Well, well, this book will offer the passages that are gonna release Charlotte from this hell that's possessing her. Once I start, I have to finish reading every word, or we have to start all over again. You understand? Now here's what I need you to do. First off, grab those. Once we get in there, no matter what you see, no matter what you hear, I need you to keep your faith. Because the devil is cunning. He'll try everything he can to deceive you. The trick is to pay attention to me. Don't listen to him, he's gonna try. Father. I'm afraid. I know. So am I. Oh! <laughs> 
Julia.
Daddy. Yes, Daddy? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't bleed. I didn't get you help. I'm so sorry too, Daddy. I didn't mean to be bad. I had to obey. You need to let her go now. Honey? Soul is free. Go. Go to God. I love you, Daddy. I love you too. I love you so much. Oh, young lady. Julia, it's good to have you back. I need to get that cleaned. Let me patch you up downstairs. I'm so tired. Okay. Just close your eyes. Sleep now. It's gonna be okay. Thank you. I know. I'll check on Charlie. Suffering. 
Watch them die by your own hands. to destroy the painting. What? <laughs> Oh, my God. 